I'm going to do my best to explain this, and if anyone needs to correct me, by all means, I'll go and re-record this episode. But my understanding from my experience with Pandora is the following, and I am speaking from my own experience here. Submitting your music through a distributor to Pandora, or excuse me, distributing your music to Pandora. Let's say you're an independent artist and you use CD Baby or DistroKid or Ditto or TuneCore, whoever you may use. Yes, you are distributing your music to all of the stores and DSPs such as Spotify, Apple Music, Deezer, Amazon Music, and Pandora, yes. But My understanding is that is only half of the process as far as getting your music available to everyone within Pandora. And what I mean by that is independent artists can, once their music is with their distributor and it's been released, they can go to amp.pandora.com slash submit. And there's a link in the comments, so I don't have to repeat that. And once you go to that site, you of course will need to have a login with Pandora's artist marketing platform, AMP. And once you're logged in, you'll be able to submit your music for consideration with the team at Pandora. And what will happen is once it's approved and published, it will be available within Pandora's ad-supported radio service, Pandora Plus and Pandora, Pandora Premium. Excuse me. So... And to let you know, this form is very short. It's not asking for much information at all. It's not asking you to tag the song in any way either because the team at Pandora will do that themselves. So what you would need for this form is the UPC, uh, which should be available from your distributor, even if you just need to send them a quick email. Once you've got that, you'll be able to find the track and submit. And in my experience, maybe within a week, sometimes a little longer, you'll get an email back from Pandora saying, hey, your song is now available for all of our listeners across Pandora's ad-supported radio service, Pandora Plus and Pandora Premium. So by filling out that very brief form at amp.pandora.com slash submit, you've made your music available to everyone instead of just potentially being missed. Um, it's definitely worth doing. And one really cool benefit of this is that you can backtrack uh, songs as far back as one year. So if you released a song nine months ago, you can go in there and still submit that song. And I'm going to do another episode of this about Pandora's other tools shortly as well. So make sure you subscribe to this podcast. Stay tuned. Once again, if anybody has any questions about this, any suggestions for other episodes of the podcast, reach out to me on social media at Ask Mike Warner, A-S-K-M-I-K-E-W-A-R-N-E-R. I hope this has been helpful.